He's got New York in his blood. He grew up in Coney Island and won a PSAL City Championship at Fable Lincoln High School in Brooklyn. He's a starting point guard for the hometown Knicks and comes off a charity event called Starberry's Give Back Day at Surfside Gardens Park. He's a two-time NBA All-Star, Stefan Marbury. Welcome, Steph. Thanks for having me. Coming off a great day, but I want to start with you with a great day for Nick fans, Zach Randolph. What does it mean <clears throat> to have him in New York? It means a lot. We got a guy that can play 94 feet. Anytime you get a guy that can take a layup, you got a guy that can shoot a free throw, can make a college three, and make a... NBA 3 at a crucial time in the game, anytime they could do that and bring the ball up and post up, shoot left hand, right hand, you get a great player. Kudos to Isaiah Thomas. Double-double machine last year with Portland. What do you think? I think that him and Eddie, they're going to be fighting every night on the block. Those are our two go-to guys. We come up with, plan, with, with a plan how to go about this year as a team, collectively. How we want to win a trophy if we want to win the championship? Because everybody has to be planning right now. This is when you start planning. And for us and for me, me trying to be the leader of the team is to try to convince them of a way how we could go steal a trophy. People are going to think we crazy for talking like that, but if you believe it, you can achieve it. <laughs> you got to get them the ball now, Steph. Oh, man, I think I'm average like 10 points, like 12, 13 dimes, like two, three assists and about four or five rebounds. And if we need me to play, play a different position, I might get a little bit more. Now, you said kudos to Isaiah. What yeah. about your relationship with Isaiah Thomas? My relationship with him is beautiful. It's great. Why do you like him so much? <clears throat> because he's a man's man, and he can see the light. And that light is that you guys are going places? Hey, that's how people want to look at it. Do you think you thrived under Isaiah this year? I think that I grew up, grew up under Isaiah. I think he raised me and he grew me into becoming the basketball player and the person that I am off the court. Is it the fact that this guy knows the point guard position so well too? I mean, you're playing for a coach that was one of the best at that position. Is it easier for you to respect somebody like that? I mean, I, I respect him for him, not because of basketball. That's separate. I know how to differentiate. I know how to basically break the two down. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing with my sneakers for the kids. You know what I'm saying? That's another part of me. Basketball is what drives it because we play basketball and we wear tennis shoes, but at the same time, that's not what it's about. What it really is about is the little kids seeing what you said. You was in a room, you said, did you really? And then you changed it. You said, did you really? That's what you really wanted to say. Did you really do this for the first time? Because this is unbelievable. It feels so good inside that you want to really speak it and make it come to life. But you wanted to ask me first. Yes, sir. I know. We're going to get to all of the, the great charitable stuff. But first, <clears> I want to show you what could be the Knicks team this year. And if you look at this ball club, it's a club that looks like a playoff team in some people's mind. What about in your mind? Well, I look at the Dallas Mavericks this year and I say to myself, I say, okay. I've been saying for the last semi years that at the end of the day, if you don't win the championship, we all losers. If, if anybody had the opportunity to put down all the money in the world, to bet on Dallas to win the championship, I think people would have done that. Well, the thing about and the Mavericks showed, was they had the chemistry. And they showed and then they at lose. the end when they were playing against G State. And that's when they had to rethink within their group. We want to get to the point where we're like Dallas. Dallas is the team because they got the chemistry, they got the desire, they got a great coach, a coach that's motivated, that's won championships. He understands how it feels to build the family, camaraderie atmosphere inside of his inside of his, his, his team. He keeps everybody together. That's what Isaiah is doing. He's bringing everybody together and eventually it's gonna mesh and it's gonna become something beautiful. So you wanna be Dallas except for the fact that you lost in the playoffs, you guys wanna go a little bit further. Hey, we always wanna win a, the, the trophy. We call that shiny stuff. Wow, that's, that's what the trophy is. It's a trophy. That's it. It's nothing more, nothing less. When you get it, it can't make you billions of dollars. No, it cannot. Yeah, but it's what you guys all shoot for. No, that's what they shoot for. I don't shoot for that anymore. I shoot to win because I shoot to win, and that's it. What about Kevin Garnett? We heard all these rumors that Garnett might be coming. First of all, would you like to have Garnett in New York at some point in your career? Man, 
You know what? It's so crazy that you said that because I was just telling my friends in the car, I want to call KG and tell them I'm sorry for anything that ever happened and anything that's ever been done or said between us. When I said about Amari Stoudemire being the second best, you know, the best player, better than him because, you know, Amari came in the second year and he just totally just blossomed. For me saying that, I got, you know, people gave me backlash about that. But that was just my opinion because we played with each other. A lot of people said you guys didn't get along. That's not true. Did you get along? Yeah, we got along. We played basketball together. We didn't go home and sleep in the same bed with each other. We played basketball. But you said to me that you matured a lot yeah. and that now you get along better with Garnett than you did back then. I didn't then. say that. I said I want to apologize to him and I want to okay. say sorry to him for anything that ever happened. All right, let's talk about yesterday. I, I was in Coney Island, Starberry's Give Back Day. It was an unbelievable scene. See, you're smiling already. You had thousands of people on the streets you were giving away free gear. You were giving back. Now, what was your philosophy? My philosophy behind that was something not really good, but it worked out for the best because everything came to fruition. And for myself, seeing what I've seen, watching the little kids, enjoying themselves, it felt like heaven on earth. That made me want to do so much more to create jobs for everybody on this earth. You know, it seems as though you're honoring kids a lot these days when they're doing good stuff in terms of education. Last week you had that, you know, that big shopping spree where you were giving kids that wrote essays yeah. that deserve the chance to shop until they drop with you. But it's about education too, isn't it? Oh, definitely. I mean, right now, our kids' minds are so, they're so ready to be taught, but it has to be somebody there to push it. I can't teach all of the kids. It's impossible. So I have to give the teachers the tools that they need to be able to help the little kids. I can't give them what they need if they don't have it. Steph, you seem comfortable in your own hide these days. Is that, oh, I'm sorry. Is that fair to say you have? I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't. Oh, it's okay. That's it, my it, better it, half. It, it's only a live show. Don't worry about it. That's my better half. Oh, well, that's but okay. my better half, my that, wife. That's always acceptable during a live show. You could talk to her over me. But my question is. Ooh, I like that. Steph, are you comfortable being Steph these days? And is it fair to say that you've grown in that regard? <sighs> Man, I grew so much. And so, I mean, I had so many people that was praying for me and pushing for me. My sister been praying for me since I was born. My sister Stephanie, my namesake. That's, a, that's what she is to me, my namesake. Stephanie, Stephon, Stephanie, that's my daughter's name. We kept it in the family. But she been praying for this day forever. And it finally happened yesterday when I kissed her. And I felt her body and I felt her soul. I was delighted to be kissing her. I couldn't even cry because I knew they were going to be happy to so I was able to control them. You only really cry when they really bad stuff. All right, a couple quick questions. Five seconds or less. Number one, are the Knicks going to be good next that. year? I'm not doing that. Why not? You're a no TV time. host, too. I don't get no time to think. We're not doing that. Are the Knicks in 12 seconds or less going to no, be a good club I'm not doing that. How about 14 seconds no, or less? Give me 10 more minutes. I'll do it with you. We'll talk about it later. All right. Steph, thanks for coming in. Wish you the best of luck. Congratulations on all the stuff you did in the community yesterday and in the last several months. And good luck to you, my friend. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you having me on your show. My pleasure, Steph. Thank you. That's Stefan Marbury, whose career average over 11 NBA seasons is 19.9 points per game and 7.9 assists. And I'm not going to let him into the studio. Hey, check it with out. Cell phone I do this like anymore. that. Yeah, you to keep me quick. closer. Okay. To the light. <laughs> He's a host. Yeah, do it again. He's a TV host. Do, these it, again. Days do too. it again. Do it again. Still ahead. Do it again. The Rangers make a couple uh, of bold moves on the first like day this. of free agency like in this. the NHL. We've got some like reaction this. for the guard like this in a moment. Like this. I'll get to that. <laughs> but first, it's time Give for it the Subway me. Play of the Week. I've national. got to read that. Give it to me on Subway. I'm bringing it out of you, one of the new baby. Super Stuff subs yeah. at any Subway restaurant for a limited time yeah. only. Let's go back to Monday at Shea. Cards and Mets tied at one of the 11th. Right fielder Sean Green comes through with a monster shot deep to right off the scoreboard. The Amazes win the ball game. That's the Subway play of the week. Subway, eat fresh even when Steph is on your back.